cool and confluence. All right, cool, excellent. Um, and uh, yeah, we're based in Sydney, San Francisco, Amsterdam, and there's a couple of us here from Sydney, so it's, uh, it's, it's great to be here. Thanks for having us. Um, so just a little bit about me. Um, I'm an engineer turned product manager. Uh, I've been doing product management for about three and a half, four years now. Uh, and uh, I spend most of my time in Atlassian working on our collaboration tool called Confluence. Uh, it's a content collaboration tool for teams uh, and mostly f helps them create documents like requirements, meeting notes, specifications, that kind of stuff. So that's where I spend most of my day working on that. Um, I also uh, created uh, Team Calendars at Atlassian. It's a commercial add-on that we have on top of Confluence. It helps teams plan, track, and manage their events, their team events and their projects. So I'm also the product manager for that, um, half a day a week. And um, uh, uh, last year, I spent quite a bit of time working on this project that was across all our tools, uh, and it was cross-product notifications and tasks. Um, and the reason I tell you this is throughout each of these experiences, I've learned a lot about getting feedback. Um, and um, it's been quite challenging. Some have been quite the hard way of getting feedback, uh, and some has been uh, the easy way. And so, for example, in Confluence, we completely changed the, weeple, uh, the, the way people create content inside our tool. Uh, previously, they had like this code-like syntax called Wiki Markup, and we completely replaced it with a WYSIWYG editing experience. So a huge change, and we learned a lot about uh, how to get feedback during that change uh, lifecycle and different techniques we would have to deploy. Uh, team calendars was something that was new. Atlassian was launching a new product, and it was something that was new. And we deployed and learned different feedback techniques throughout that project. And this cross-product notifications and tasks, um, it was one of those features that we had a big blurry vision for. Um, and, you know, we went through quite a lot of product discovery and we were unsure who would find this feature the most helpful, what kind of personas or users would use this the most. Uh, and so we learned a lot about um, feedback through that project as well. So I'm going to be talking to you throughout uh, experiences that I've had in each of these projects, kind of like an experience report. Uh, and we'll be sharing with you guys the different techniques that we did. Um, so I hope by the end of this presentation, uh, you'll be equipped with at least five practical tips uh, that you can take back to your projects or teams uh, for building effective customer feedback loops. Just out of curiosity, how many people here actually work in product teams? Uh, teams, all right, three quarters of you. Okay, excellent. So this is uh, for you guys. Um, but before I jump into the actual practical tips, I'm just going to spend a bit of time setting up some context on a topic that's been discussed a bit for the last uh, couple of days, and it's about the build, measure, learn uh, life cycle. Well, he's read the Lean Startup book by Eric Ries. It's been uh, referenced a few times in a few presentations, right? Um, I highly recommend this book. Uh, I learned a lot uh, from reading it. But the premise of the book is fairly simple. Uh, and I'm not going to do it any justice in my explanation right now, so 